are talking of over here. Uh, if you see Brent oil prices, they've fallen below the $60 per barrel mark. And this is going to be a big positive with regards to where the Petchem derivative companies go. Packaging as well as the packaging film business. How do the benefits come in in both these businesses separately? So I think uh, crude oil falling, first of all, uh, you know, is is definitely going to help the company. Uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, calls for some cheers for the company as, you know, we've been seeing that the packaging business in particular, which has been witnessing on a quarter a quarter increase impacted because of the increase in crude prices. We're seeing that the crude price is going up on a quarter to quarter for the last five quarters as such. And uh, so what happens is that, you know, because you have a quarterly or a monthly contract, so, you know, you tend to uh, follow that price uh, with a lag. So once the key prices keep on increasing, that lags only keeps on getting postponed. But with the prices coming down now, I think it augurs very well for the packaging industry as such. And uh, the films business is is generally insulated, and uh, you know there the price adjustment happens on a, on the same day basis. So there's there's not much impact uh, in that business, except that uh, you know your uh, uh, you know your value growth, revenue growth, uh, what we've seen in the first uh, in H1, uh, you know that will seem to be a bit more subtle as compared to you know the volume growth. So if you see the volume growth, we've had in H1 about close to about 12%, but the value growth has been around, uh, is, is much more, and that's because of the increase in the raw material prices led by the crude uh, price increase. So I think overall augurs well for our overall business, and uh, we we happy to have the lower crude prices. Right. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, so let me understand this. If you're talking about the packaging business, uh, in terms of crude prices, uh, you know, movement, is the uh, realization in value immediate or does it come in at a lag? Definitely it comes with it. So you have all three kind of contracts, the spot contracts, which are priced on a month-to-month -month basis. Then you have contracts which are long term, but the price adjustment happens on a monthly basis. That means the previous month prices will apply to the current month supplies. And then you have contracts where, you know, the previous quarter prices will determine the current quarter's prices. So, you know, there, there are all three baskets in this. And uh, we have a substantial basket, which is one month and three months. So obviously, as I've been saying that, you know, if the crude prices keep on going on a quarter to quarter basis, that lag effect continues to remain, uh, elude us, uh, you know, to realize the full uh, cost uh, of uh, increased cost of the of the products but when the crude prices go down uh, this quarter say and the prices uh, realize prices are based on the last quarter prices I think it comes to our advantage so but you know overall a very sharp increase and sharp decrease are always not uh, you know preferred because you know that overall impacts uh, you know the, the business the customers get a bit wary and uh, you know, from our perspective also, uh, the lag comes into, uh, you know, has a major play then. Right. And with regards to where the, uh, you know, uh, packaging film business is concerned, on that front, I think uh, it will be, there would, no, there would not be any lag effect coming on that front. But are you facing any issues with regards to where inventory is concerned? Because uh, usually clients will refrain from holding inventory if they're seeing a constant reduction in prices happening. So I think uh, what you are saying is right, but uh, you know, given the fact that we are we operate in a market which are closer to the clients, our facilities, uh, you know, we sell uh, our films in a, in an area which is nearby. So people normally don't stock for very long, and they stock for one or two days kind of a stock. But yes, it does uh, you know uh, create a mindset that you know because the prices are falling constantly, so they should refrain from having large stocks. So maybe from two days they'll move on to one day stock and all that. But frankly, I've not seen any increase in the stock levels uh, in a in a film business, and they remain to be you know almost the same as they were earlier. Uh, there has been uh, you know a constant, a very sharp reduction in the crude prices. And, uh, you know, that has impacted the, uh, the raw material costs. 
so from an october high of about 103 rupees what uh, what was costing us and q2 was almost about 90 rupees it was the raw material cost for the for the bopet film industry uh, we will be down by the end of the month we'll be down to about 78 rupees so you know that's been the sharp reduction in the in the raw material cost and obviously you know that will be uh, you know a reduction in the realization also as the uh, raw material prices fall what is going to be the impact on margins that we could see if you could just help us understand that dynamic very lastly yeah, so the margins are pretty stable and uh, in fact, H1, uh, while the BOPET industry has seen a better margin, the BOPP uh, uh, has seen uh, lower margins because of the overcapacity issues. So I think the raw material price withstanding, the margins are, in, uh, are, uh, are impacted because of uh, demand and supply equilibrium and we are currently seeing that, you know, the BOPET has uh, 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 has a robust demand. Uh, the demand supply equilibrium is pretty stable. BOPP, it's not. It will take a few more quarters before it stabilizes. But, uh, you know, a sharp raw material movements like this may have uh, some temporary impact on the margins, but I, I don't see that, you know, uh, that happening uh, on, a, on a consistent basis in the BOPET industry. Very lastly, uh, in terms of the rupee movement as well, the kind of strength it's picking up now, uh, does it have any impact on your business? So I think as a business, we we do about uh, uh, we uh, we do about hundred million dollars of exports from India. And, uh, uh, you know, we have do, uh, we don't have very large, uh, you know, foreign currency liabilities on our India balance sheet. It's about only 15 million, 18 million dollars. And then we import about uh, uh, roughly about f uh, 30 to 40 million dollars in a year. And that's what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, is, is our equation. So obviously, uh, 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 a rupee which is, uh, you know, depreciated helps us to get a better export realization. But in the overall scheme of things, I think that's not a very big game changer for us. Right. All right, Mr. Bhatia. Pleasure speaking to you and thank you for sharing an update as well. So that's with regards to Uflex. The stock trading slightly under pressure. But moving on, Merck Electronics looking to manufacture TVs for Reliance in